You're checking me out again at Mostly Healthy Food Reviews. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? What's going on? First things first, before we get started, I just want to really quickly make sure that everybody's on the same wavelength today with the video. I'm doing a litmus test, kind of, you know, easy where I'm going. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? <laughs> Foodie fam, friends, followers, y'all know who I am. Y'all know why I do this who I do it for and how I do it. If you don't know and you're new around here or under a rock for the last four years, roughly, I'm actually the creator of the home of some of the realest food reviews you're ever gonna get. You're gonna get, period. I don't bite my tongue for no one. So if the food is good, I'm gonna talk about it. If it's not, I'm still gonna talk about it. Which leads me up to this point. This is actually probably the last video you guys are gonna get for 2023. Real talk, coming up by the end of the year. I'm getting ready for January already. Yeah, your boy's always working. Anyway, about a year ago, maybe a year and change, I actually stopped by a place that I had never been to to have something I've never had before. I decided to go by Colony Grill, Fairfield, Connecticut. They do have a bunch of other spots all over the country. And if you have one, this is for you. But to be honest, I actually had a pizza from them. And the pizza I had was a hot stinger, hot oil stinger pizza. So basically the pizza was a flatbread, crispy crust, very, very good pizza. It actually had a bunch of jalapenos on it and hot oil. Never had it a day in my life. I liked the pizza a lot. As a matter of fact, I gave it an eight out of 10, including the service price or what have you, but it was extremely hot. So I haven't been back to Colony Grill since. I said I may one day try it again. I may pull some of the jalapenos and or hot oil off of it. Who knows? But in either case, I'm trying something a little different today because I actually want to end the year on a good note. I want to try a salad. Salad pizza, that is. Colony Grill has a salad pizza. Looks like $13 and change from what I saw on their website. And we're going to find out why would a person or a company or a restaurant or a pizzeria or a grill put salad on a pizza salad pizza they don't really seem to go together but maybe they do my first time having a salad pizza here we're gonna find out if it's actually any good and what i recommend it to you y'all know what i do mostly healthy food reviews let's take a ride to fairfield
Charm. So that was Colony Grill. I'm in Fairfield, Connecticut on the Post Road. However, they got places in New York, Florida, of course, Connecticut, Maryland, and Virginia. So if you got a Colony Grill, this video pertains to you. First things first, like I said in the very beginning of the video a year ago, I actually had their hot oil stinger pizza. Gave it an eight out of 10. I liked it, I thought it was solid. Here's the thing. I gauge a lot of my pizza experiences growing up through the years on places like Sally's, Pepe's, and my favorite modern pizza, which are all located in, in areas like New Haven, Connecticut. Some of the best pizzas ever. I've been looking at a lot of feeds recently with a lot of celebrities pulling up to Connecticut just for the pizza. And honestly, the pizzas are really, really official. Colony Grill. Your salad pizza cost me $13 and change with a bottle of water. I just spent $17. I also sat in the car pulling lettuce and greens and carrots and tomato and cucumber off of a thin crust pizza, which had like a microscopic layer almost of mozzarella on it. No sauce. Although when I ordered my food to go, I told the girl that I wanted cheese on it and I guess they just put the bare minimum because it's a veggie pizza. It's supposed to be healthy, I guess. And it has all this different vegetable on it. I love vegetables. Let's be clear, I do. The channel is mostly healthy. I'm trying to eat healthy, but honestly, this is really just a novelty item in my opinion. Should it be $13? Definitely not, definitely not, no. You guys, Truthfully, make them smaller, turn them to personals, and maybe charge five bucks for these things. Not really that good. Where you're gonna be spending all this money just for a bed of lettuce, some greens, uh, and then a couple of little veggies on it, and you call it a veggie pizza. That's not really a veggie salad pizza to me. And I know veggie pizzas and salad pizzas are different, but I guess I expected a lot more with this. I do enjoy Colony Grill's crust on their thin slice pizza, I do. As you heard it in the video, very, very crunchy. So for that alone, it actually does hold up. And I appreciated that part of things. But as far as the, the veggies, they were just throwing haphazardly on my crust and they were just there. They were just hanging out like, ah, oh, we're here, whatever. You're just gonna take it and you'll just like it. And then y'all sprinkled some balsamic vinegar or whatever it was on it. The flavors were just okay to me. They weren't really great. And for that, I'm actually gonna go with a five. I'm going with a five out of 10 on their salad pizza at Colony Grill. I do want to give a special shout out to the waitress that recognized me as soon as I walked in. She was like, hey, I watch your YouTube videos. And I wanted to say thank you, but I was trying to kind of stay incognito. So I appreciate you noticing me and thank you for that. This salad pizza, you guys can miss me with it. I think next time I come to Colony, if I ever do come back to Colony, I'm probably going to go with the Stinger again because that Stinger pie was good but a salad pizza for $13. And I could have made this at any point. And honestly, the, like I said, the best thing about this was the crust. It wasn't even the mop, so there was no pull on it. And you saw it. The mop basically just laid on top of it like a piece of cardboard on top of another piece of cardboard. I try, I do try, and I told y'all, Anytime I have food, if it's good, I'm going to talk about it. If it's not, I'm still going to talk about it. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like what I'm talking about, do me a favor. Click subscribe. Turn notifications on. That way you get the realest, the realest, the realest food reviews you're going to get anywhere. And I stand on that. Ten toes down. Once again, this is Claude at Mostly Healthy Food Reviews. 
YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Newsbreak. I'm on all social media platforms. And you can catch me Mondays and Fridays, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard, during the week as time permits, like a Wednesday or Thursday. And yes, this is probably going to be the last video of 2023 in Colony Grill. Thank you for being gracious. Thank you for your service. Your pricing is, eh. But the pizza, nah, miss me with it. I'm all set, man. I'm good. In either case, let me get up out of here. Y'all be cool on the other side of the pillow. I'll talk to y'all next time.